How y'all doing today? Bless the name of the Lord. Lord's Acoustic Ninja coming back at you today. I've been thinking about these two Gretsch guitars and I've been promising to do some comparisons and uh, and uh, and show you some instruments and, and kind of let you hear what they sound like. So today, it's all about Gretsch guitars. <laughs> that old guitar on the left, that's an old Chet Atkins Gretsch that I bought in 1976 new at a at a mom and pop shop. I think I gave 750 bucks for it. And I, I want to say it's a 1974, five-ish, 76-ish, <laughs> something like that. Had it a long time. It's an absolute mint condition. Plays great. Sounds great. Beautiful guitar. Really like it. Had it for years and years and years. Well, since 1976. And then on the right over here is Gretsch's 140th anniversary limited edition double platinum falcon that's yeah though that's a mouthful so anyway i'm gonna try to do a whole lot less talking here and and uh fire these two gretsch guitars up so that you can hear them listen to them and get a feel for what you think they may sound like and then i'll go over uh, some of the spec differences and that sort of thing and uh maybe try to tell you which one my favorite is not not sure i can do that <laughs> but i'll try so here we go we're gonna fire these two big boys up and see what you think here's the old chet atkins gretsch nashville clean other than just got a little bit of reverb cranked in i'll try to play the same thing so you can get a good comparison both pickups in the center position here's the bridge pickup Here's the neck pickup. Thank you. 
I can't do either one of these guitars justice, but hopefully I can bang them on here loud enough and long enough that you can get a get an idea. It's hard to take your eyes off that off that falcon wings up there on the headstock. Everything's the same. Uh, a little bit of reverb. Other than that, that's it. I'll run. I'm, I might run the falcon through a few other pedals if you want to get an idea what they sound like. But uh, here's the old falcon. That's both, that's both pups in the center position. Here's the bridge pickup. Neck pickup.
some of the specs on this old Gretsch. It's a 1977 7660 made in February of 1977. Number 86 made that year. Made in Boonville, Arkansas. It's got the original Filtertron pickups. Uh, Bigsby. Trouble on the bar. It's uh, got uh, figured maple back and sides. Poor lot perloid binding. And got a rosewood neck. I'm sorry, rosewood fingerboard maple neck and it has what's called a basically it's the same as the this the model 6120 before baldwin kind of took them over and baldwin made a few improvements to the guitar guitar one uh, one not many but one of them was allegedly a, a uh, improvement and that's the burns heel box truss rod adjustment that you have to adjust back here by taking this cover off. So there's a special tool that you have to have. And without that special tool, you, you got to go find one. <laughs> I've heard some guys taking needle nose pliers and getting in there, but I wouldn't recommend that. And I have done a few things to this guitar. The, the tuning machines were not very good where they were really crappy actually and i i probably shouldn't have but i put these grover imperial tuners on it they're a lot better than the ones that were on it they're uh i mean just no no comparison these are really good tuners great tuners and because they were gold i went ahead and put a gold bixby tremola whammy bar on it and i put jeweled let's see if you can see that Come here, baby. Come here, baby. I put bejeweled <laughs> uh, chrome knobs on it because the original ones were plastic. These are actually chrome with pearl and ruby. And I put gold covers over the top of the filter trons. And I still have all the original hardware. And I mean, I kept it. I didn't throw it away. So I could, I could always put it back original just any, any time. But... I like the way she looks like this, to tell you the truth. So that's the Gretsch, 1977, model 7660, Nashville, Chet Adkins, Gretsch. So here's the Falcon, 140th anniversary, double platinum. And there are some significant differences between these two guitars. This one has the jeweled knobs on it, mother of pearl in the center and a little jeweled gidget there on the end, which is kind of cool. Uh, this one uh, just has uh, one switch on it for neck, neck a pickup, both, and the bridge. Um, this one has locking tuners, which is which is nice. The Imperial tuners on that uh, old Gretsch were good. Um, that USA made Gretsch was good, but I like these locking tuners better. It just makes this makes things a little quicker, a little easier when it comes time to change them out. Another big deal is this bridge is pinned. It's actually pinned. To the body uh, that's kind of a misnomer though there is a pin but there's a elongated hole in the bridge so it can move a little bit but not much i mean i guess it's kind of a good thing it's about it's just a maybe an eighth of an inch where you can move it that way about an eighth of an inch and because i mean if you can't get the adjustment here you need for intonation then you know if you you need to be able to move the bridge so that if you can't get that eighth of an inch movement there then you know you're you're in trouble 
you know, you, you can't get that extra adjustment should you ever need it. There's also a big difference in these uh, pickups. They're not original Filtertron type pickups like they are in that old Chet Atkins Nashville Gretsch. These are a proprietary pickup. Supposedly, they're designed to still give you the old Gretsch jingle, jangle, spangle, spank, uh, chimey sound, but also give you a more modern, some more modern flexibility, that sort of thing. I think they're FT67s. I'm not sure about that. I'll have to double check the specs on it. It's too many numbers for this old man to remember, but I think that's what they call them, FT67s. I, but I could be wrong. Uh, some of the materials are different. The The back and sides on the Falcon are laminated. They're laminated maple, but you can't see the wood. It's, you know, painted over pretty hard. Silver on the sides, and they call it a stone platinum, I guess. It looks more like a very light blue color to me. I like it. Uh, I also like the white in the center for the pickups. I like that. Um, the fingerboard on the old Chad Atkins Gritch, the USA made one, was made of rosewood. And it had thumbnail, mother of pearl uh, position markers. The fretboard on the Falcon is ebony. It's solid ebony. And I really like I really like an ebony fretboard. It's getting harder and harder to get ebony. And these are like a lot of guitars, not just Gretsch, but some of the more inexpensive Gretsch guitars and Epiphones and pretty much everybody is using what they call a Perloid. Uh, they're not really mother of pearl. It's basically an acrylic or a plastic that they put in there. Not so on this Falcon. These are real mother of pearl, and you can you you can tell the difference in mother of pearl versus pearloid in the shimmer and sparkle in the shell. That's real mother of pearl shell, and I like that. That's really nice. So the, those appointments are are pretty important to me. This Gretsch guitar, this Falcon, came from the factory. And I didn't have to do anything to it, which is kind of unusual. It was perfectly intonated. The neck relief was absolutely perfect. Um, the string height was absolutely perfect, set to specs. I like my uh, action pretty low, pretty much like everybody. I like the action as low as I can get it without fret buzz. And this was just right there. So somebody at Gretsch, and I don't know why other manufacturers can't do that, but I I have I've got four different Gretsch guitars. I've even got a one of their cheaper four or five hundred dollar uh, little jets uh, with P90s in it, and it was absolutely fabulous from the factory. I didn't have to do anything to it. It was also perfectly intonated. So Gretsch is doing something that uh, you know maybe I just got. Two real great ones here lately. I don't know. I doubt it. Because I can't say that about several other very well-known guitar manufacturers out there that I've had to do. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I've had to do all kinds of work to get the guitar to intonate properly. You know, the neck relief was was way out. String height was way out. Strings were absolutely. <clears throat> The, you know, the worst coming from the factory. This actually came with some decent strings. And so did the other Gretsch. <clears throat> well, actually, I got, I've got i got a, a Gretsch Rancher Falcon also, and it came with some decent strings. So like, Gretsch is just doing something. They're just doing something fantastic. Supposedly, this Falcon, this 140th anniversary, is the best product as far as falcons go that gretsch can do with one exception there actually is and this one's made in japan most of the other gretsch are made in china or korea or other places depending on the year and that sort of thing 
but Gretsch also has a USA custom shop. So that's kind of cool. And some of those USA made custom Gretsch guitars are $10,000, $11,000, $12,000 made here in the USA. So it's still possible to get USA made Gretsch, but Lordy, you're going to pay out the wazoo for it. Um, and of course this one wasn't cheap. <laughs> like I say, I gave 750 bucks in 1977 for that old Chet Atkins Gretsch. This is a $4,000 guitar, $39.99 all day long. And they're getting harder and harder to find. I, I had to do a lot of a lot of looking to find one. Reverb had a few and a few other folks, but there just weren't that many. And I'm not sure how, how long they're going to keep making them, but uh, I was glad I was fortunate fortunate enough to get one, get this one for Christmas from my wife, Miss Brenda Darlene. Bless her heart. So that's the Falcon. So which guitar do I like the best? Lord have mercy. The Gretsch Falcon or the Gretsch Chet Atkins Nashville? Well, let me tell you this. I think they both sound good. Okay. Uh, the old Chet Atkins Gretsch, the old Model 7660, made in 1970. It's got a little more bass. You know, got a little more thump in the bass, probably. Um, it's probably a little, uh, it's probably a little louder there. Uh, some things about that old USA made Gretsch is I got to be careful when I do some serious bends because I can move that bridge because it's not pinned on that USA made red Gretsch. So that's kind of a drawback. So I got to be careful there. You can't really dig in on the on the bench. You got to be got to. There's a limit to what you can do with it before you actually start moving that bridge. Not that. Not so with the Falcon. Didn't this? I mean, I've been messing around with this thing for a couple of days, and I've been trying to move the the bridge, and it hasn't moved yet. And I've bent all I'm gonna bend with these old arthritic fingers of mine, and it's it's solid. One of the things about the Falcon is <clears throat> it it's it's easier to play for some reason. I'm not really sure why that is. It plays easier. <clears throat> it's a little faster probably than the old than the other old USA made Gretsch. I think it probably you know, it's kind of like flavors. They're both different flavors. I think this one probably sounds a little bit better to me. I think this one has a little more spank, a little more uh, chime to it, maybe. Like then, you know, they both have that classic Gretsch chime sound. Both of them do, and I I wouldn't get rid of either one of them. Okay, that old Chet Atkins Gretsch that I bought in 1977, I bought it. I just came back from the Middle East in 1976. And it was 1977 when I bought it, not 76, like I said earlier. I never get rid of that guitar. There's not a scratch on it. It's absolutely perfect mint condition. Um, and but this guitar has a lot of improvements that uh, that that old USA made Gretsch doesn't have. And uh, so, from a better perspective, that old. That old USA made Gretsch has that vintage Filtertron sound, and a and a really good musician could could make it sound the way it needs to sound. I I couldn't do it justice for sure, uh, but this has a little bit a little bit more of a modern sound. It's a little easier to play. It still has all the spank and chime of a Gretsch. I mean, it's still Gretsch to the bone. So if I had to pick between one of the two, I couldn't, I'd have to, I'd have to keep both of them, but I would probably give the edge to the Falcon because it's of its, uh, playability, easier playability and, uh, a little bit more modern sound probably it might give it a little more flexibility playing different genres. 
but I think you could play all genres with either one, to be honest with you. This one probably would do it a little easier for you. Uh, so I guess I'd have to pick, guess I'd have to pick the Falcon over the old, over the old USA made <laughs> Chet Atkins Gritch. I hope Chet's not rolling over in his grade. What a fabulous musician and fabulous guy he was. Listen, we appreciate everything that you guys are doing for us. We we thank you for watching and and I hope this this uh comparison between the two guitars doesn't make anybody angry. <laughs> you know, there may be some old guys out there like me still have one of them old vintage Chet Atkins Gretsch guitars and they're fabulous guitars. Don't get me wrong, they are. But I I got to give the edge. I got to give the edge to the Falcon. All right. That's it. May God bless and keep you all. May your wishes all come true. May you always know the truth and see God's light surrounding you. God bless. Hope to see you again soon. Take care.